Finally, in early trading on Monday, the South African rand weakened slightly as the dollar strengthened following last week's decline on expectations of a U.S. interest rate cut. The rand traded at 18 rand and 20 cents against the dollar, down 0.1% from its previous close. The dollar also gained 0.05% against a basket of global currencies. Recent U.S. economic data showing a slowdown in job growth and rising unemployment has fueled speculation of a rate cut as early as September. Currency experts anticipate the rand to remain stable within a trading range of 18 rand to 18 rand 40 in the short term. Investment analyst Carl Kutzer provides insights on the market's movements. Last week, Monday, the rand closed at 18.36 to the US dollar. Since then, the US dollar has retreated against most global currencies. Last week, Tuesday, Fed Chair Jerome Powell had a panel discussion in central Portugal where he noted that the US is back on a disinflationary path, but that policymakers needed more data to verify that recent weaker inflation readings provide an accurate picture of the economy before cutting interest rates. Powell also noted that the US economy may now be at a point where progress on inflation will involve a trade-off with rising unemployment, which the Fed has avoided so far. The market took this as a signal that we may be approaching the start of the rate-cutting cycle. Yet Cartesian Capital, we like to look at the CME FedWatch tool to get an indication of where the market thinks interest rates are going. Last week Monday, the FedWatch tool was pricing in a 65.6% probability of the US cutting rates in its September meeting. Today, that probability has gone up to 73.8%. Following this, the rand has strengthened against the dollar and opened this week's trading at 18.16 to the dollar. It seems as if fundamentals are driving the rand once again, as opposed to politics.